Okay, welcome back here. Uh, this is uh, my window plate that I got uh, started yesterday. Uh, I still need to do a little bit more uh, sealing with silicone and stuff, but uh, but for majority of it, this is pretty much well complete. Uh, this year, all my duct work is going to be six inches, except for the the ports in and out of my box. They're still four inch. But I went ahead and made up a thing for six inch duct because uh, maybe next year I might, uh, in one of my heaters, I might take out the port and put in a six inch port just to see how much of a difference that would be. But it'd still be about, uh, I guess, the same as even though this is all six inch and my box is still four inch. so. Uh, I just figured I'd just show this. Uh, basically, all it is is uh, these little collars here. These two right here is going to be. Uh, this is going to be the inside, and this right here is going to be the outside. I basically made it like I did last year. Uh, this bubble wrap that I had. Uh, I've under, this is, since this is the outside piece here. I've, underneath that, it's got some insulation in it. I didn't insulate my last year's plate, but it really didn't uh, have no cold air or nothing coming through. So, but I just went ahead this year anyway, and I had some extra leftover, so I just put it up under here and uh, just put the bubble that bubble wrap that I had over top of it. And I didn't put no insulation on this side, just the bubble wrap. Yeah, as far as my vents go. Uh, this here is what's going to be taking the, the air from the inside of the room out to the box and then down here on the bottom I just got the the intake side back into the house and uh, what I'd used I don't know if you see them little metal tabs but this right here is actually the these two down here were actually like uh, they call them I guess starter connectors or something what it is what it is just uh, I guess where you cut a hole like if you got I guess the the square type fiberglass duct work uh, or metal duct you just go in there and cut a six inch hole in it and uh, you'll stick this down in these little tabs are actually sticking out and they just bend over but uh, that's what I used for my exhaust back into the house and of course the ones up here these are just um, flex duct connectors uh, these right here I got these at Home Depot uh, these are a whole lot better because these have this little uh, lip right here on both sides and uh, I got some from Lowe's but the only ones they had had the lip right in the middle of the thing so there's really nothing on either side to really take like a little strap when you put your uh, flex duct over top of this and put a, a strap or clamp or whatever you want to use there's really nothing to hold on to it so I got these where it's got the lips on each side so you have something to hold on to and I just basically uh, just cut six inch holes in my plate and this little lip right here I think it's this one right here uh, this one was a little bit loose because I actually cut the hole just a tad bit too big, but uh, I did wind up putting extra silicone in it, but uh, I got to go in on this side and put silicone around all four, and uh, I might do some extra uh, sealing around all four of these again, but I just had to throw some extra silicone in there to kind of help hold that in there better, but uh, it's pretty tight now, and looks like it ain't gonna be no problems uh, this right here I just used uh, I didn't have the clear uh, scotch tape that I used on last year so I just used my duct tape and because it's just a raw board on the edge I just kind of put tape over it just to kind of help seal the all the edge up around it it worked really well last year so and plus it's really it's gonna be in the window so really it won't get a whole lot of weather done to it so that really uh, kept out all the water last year. I had no problems with it. But 
like I said, I get out here and I just want to do some extra sealing up around these edges here and get that better sealed up. And uh, I need to get my heater out on its frame and hopefully by, I want to try by next weekend getting my heaters hooked up and getting the ductwork ran. Because it is starting to get a little bit cooler out here now. It's it's fairly nice day, but it's fairly windy and but the temperatures are dropping and I'm kind of really falling behind on getting this thing installed and hooked up but everything's starting to come together now just a little few little odds and ends things I need to get done but eventually I'll get there so hopefully this week uh, I'll get home a little bit earlier during the days and I'll have a little bit more time to work on this thing so that's where I'm at so far. Thanks for watching.